All right, here's my latest acquisition. It's a 59 Bug Eye Sprite that uh, just by chance a guy came over the other day and told me about it. I wound up buying it and uh, I have hardly anything in it and I think I could sell the hood, the bonnet as they call it, and make my money back easy. Uh, the car has sit in a trailer since about 2011 and the guy just gave up on it. It was more than he could probably do or had time to do. So he had uh, started working on it and he was going to put a pedal motor in it because it didn't have an engine and he stretched the car three or four inches right here. He moved, built the frame bigger and um, you can see this is the rocker panels. I put them in here, this in here. But he uh, cut this to match here. And uh, I don't like it. I'm going to do it a little different when I do it. Uh, and I'm going to have to see how much room I'm going to have left in the car. I'm going to put, a, I think, a 350 with an automatic in it. And the doors, the hinges, uh, when you open the doors, they fall off because the hinges aren't connected up in here. And I haven't looked to see if I can connect them. If I can't connect them, then I'm going to weld the doors in, bondo over them, and make it where you have to step into the car as opposed to opening the door, which would be easy to do. As I get older, it gets harder to do. But the car came with a uh, door because the one on the right side was rotted out and they cut it off. And the car, you can see inside, he had done a lot of work for the pedal motor and changed the frame in the front. It's completely different. And uh, we're going to build another frame for it. But I got the dash with it. This is the dash, and as you can see, it's right-hand drive, which I will change over. I can't see me driving over there, so I'll fix that. I got the windshield with it and a bunch of other parts back in the back. I haven't even looked at them. I just got in the car a couple days ago, pulled it in here, and uh, waiting to move on. The guy built a roll cage, roll bar for and the guy was a good welder, much better than me. So I'm glad he did that. I like the weld job on it. Um, and again, it's right hand drive. We're going to move that over to here. And all you got to do is change the rack and bolt. It's got a block right up here. We'll have to bolt it over here. And what's really odd, the guy, when he did it, and I don't know what went on up there, but the brake pedal and clutch pedal, there's no room for a uh, gas pedal. Hmm. Because the hole is smaller than this hole over here. This hole is big. He maybe was going to move it over here and make this hole bigger so there's more room. And one of the reasons I'm going to put the automatic in it, you would eliminate the uh, clutch. I like your, your seat and interior. Oh, it's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a black diamond pleated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and there's a windshield too, neat. Yeah. Fantastic. And here's a or clutch cable, maybe. So this is going to be a screamer with a uh, 350 in it, huh? Yes. Wow. So up front, uh, most people, this is the original way they open. They have the handle here that turned mm -hmm. and that unlocked it. And uh, the front oh, wow. lift it up this way. And most everybody gets one that modifies it, opens it from the back. But you can see where he had worked in here and did some work. And I don't know what kind of suspension I'm going to put in front end. But he had put a new, uh, I believe that's a clutch master cylinder there in it. And a couple of other parts. But, um, this, these shocks, the British shocks are really weird. They work off the hydraulic fluid pressure. And uh, we're, like I said, I'm going to change the whole front end. But you can see all we got to do to change the steering is get the rack 
where the gear comes out of the uh, left side up that way instead of this side. Okay. So uh, it's going, but you can see the hood is in relatively good shape. Oh yeah, I love how it opens actually. I, yeah. That makes it easy to, to work on. Yeah, most of the time people will tilt them forward. They'll right. come back and they make a kit that you can tilt them forward with. Is that what so, you want to do? I don't know yet. Okay. You know, I have decided. <clears throat> Janice had one of these uh, oh, years ago. She used to road race it. A real nice one. It was red. This one was originally yellow, and that's probably what I'm going to paint it again, yellow. Okay, I thought you were practicing the tiger stripe. Yeah, no, I think he was. He was camouflaging it. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be quite a project, but I'll have it done. So, Got moving on. That's it. All right. Very cool. Bug eye spray. <laughs> so this is an Austin Healy spray. Bug eye spray. Okay. Or is it British call it a frog eye spray? Frog eye spray. Americans call it bug eye. Mm-hmm. Sweet. <laughs> 